So 343 just posted this the other day. They announced the official date of when we'll have the first fracture event for season two called Entrenched. This is gonna be coming up in four days. They say five, this was posted yesterday. So May 24th will be the first day of the fracture event for you guys to play out. This is how you unlock the Eagle Strike Core that we're looking at right here, which does look pretty awesome. It's, it's kind of like an old school World War II kind of theme to a lot of the additions when it comes to this core for the customization, which shh, don't tell 343, but there's a lot of leaked images on Twitter about what this armor core looks like. There are some in-game screenshots that some data miners have been able to throw in together as well, which this looks very menacing. Like this is gonna be a big bulky boy coming at you on the battlefield. And if he's hiding inside the pilot's cockpit, then you know this guy's up to something not good. But this guy looks pretty scary looking to be honest. There's another variation. This looks kind of similar to like the Rocketeer, which is kind of like an old school, like World War II, like superhero comic kind of thing back in the day. So this is kind of like a word they get a lot of the inspiration from. It's kind of like old school, kind of like 40s art style kind of thing to the, to the armor core, which is kind of an interesting thing. I'm sure many of you are probably also concerned, like, are these going to do the same thing they did for Tenrai? Just kind of these repetitive weeks throughout the season? Well, it looks like it's just going to happen. This is what they stated in the Season 1 Outcomes blog about these different kinds of Fracture events, saying, as for Tenrei, or just events in general like this for the Fracture stuff, uh, we've seen positive results overall with the reoccurring event. Uh, we increased the amount of progress players could make in a single week, which has helped quite a bit, even though we've seen some players believe repeating events can get stale, which I would kind of agree with that. Many appreciate the opportunity to catch up on weeks when they have more time to play. We like this fracture format as it stands right now, but we'll continue to look at ways to improve it in the future. So this is going to be kind of a reoccurring thing. So I wouldn't stress too much about completing it as many times as possible, because most likely we'll have six full weeks to do this one as well with 30 tiers, I believe, like the last event pass was for these fractures. So you got time. I wouldn't stress about it too much. I know if you're watching this video, you're most likely a hardcore Halo fan, such as myself. You're gonna wanna try to get that content as soon as possible. So, I mean, it's kind of a give and take. I know a lot of people on the internet have said like, hey, we want to have more stuff. This is getting really repetitive. But you also gotta remember, with the entirety of the online gaming community for Halo put together, it's still smaller than the larger player base for Halo. So keep that in mind. Now, when it comes to scheduling out what you're gonna be able to play for this event, we do have the leaked dates right here. So we have May 24th. We also have the week of June 14th, July 5th, as well as August 16th. Now, this is uh, this first day, this week one is obviously confirmed date. These other ones are subject to change as these dates are roughly about when we should get the next Fracture event uh, time frame to come through for Halo Infinite. But of course, once we get the hardcore cr true date from 343, you better believe I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. Now, possibly on the same day as the Fracture event, we could see an update to the weapon jamming issue that's currently plaguing Halo Infinite. Unishek recently hit up on Twitter saying, update, we are targeting next week for this release. We will continue to share updates as we get closer. Now this could be anytime. Of course, Tuesday is the update day for Halo Infinite. And this update is gonna be a really big one for you Halo fans. As we covered this previously on the channel in more depth, if you guys wanna watch that video, check it out here on the channel, but they're gonna be covering weapon jam. They're also gonna be addressing map traversal, essentially bringing back some of the most popular skill jumps back into the game, as well as some changes coming to the map, which we'll definitely will cover in a future video. We also have the tank gun returning with this update. So very awesome to see about that. And some other things tied into like saying PC improvement for stability right there. Rockstar's uh, core actually looking proper. Changes to the Bizarre Overshield to spawn at the beginning of the match, BTP color teams and stuff like that. Like a lot, of, and also speed lines. Speed lines are also gonna be disabled, able to be disabled now with the game. So that's a great thing to see. Uh, so this update is gonna be a really positive one for the game. As soon as we do see that update go live, you know I will share it with you guys here on the channel. Now, just a heads up, guys, the Xbox Bethesda Showcase for 2020 is happening on live Sunday, June 12th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. This is where I'm expecting we could finally see that Tatanka mode that Halo has been secretly working on for years now at this point, according to various leaks. And if this Tatanka mode is the Battle Royale that's been leaked around and rumored quite a lot, well, this is where we would see the announcement because Jess Corden, who previously broke this news, said that it sounds like it'd be coming with season three or four, 
but that's the pending before they actually announce the uh, release date of season three. So most likely with the end of the year, we'll see this update most likely with season three because season three definitely has some updates coming for it as well when it comes to like sandbox items, new game modes and things like that. The season three is gonna be a big update to the game. And we're currently in leak season right now, as I like to refer to it. Basically what I mean by that is we're getting closer and closer to these huge June announcements where we would see these kind of leaks and information come out. Now, some of this, some would be true. Some of it might be false or slightly true kind of thing. I remember back in 2018, before June announcements of Halo Infinite as a whole, we were getting rumors of Halo Infinity coming out. So things like that were like maybe the slight name changes and, and links and rumors were like basically true, but maybe not 100% accurate. But of course, like I always say, guys, as soon as we get that news, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. I know another big gaming leak and rumor that's going on right now, a huge leak for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 just went live on Twitter, guys, and it showcases some extra blurry low resolution footage as we always get for these different kinds of updates but this looks kind of legit where it looks like some apparently some early access alpha kind of gameplay back in december that's getting leaked around right now and it showcases some modern weapons the visuals look about i mean the best i can tell about the visuals pretty standard to what we saw from modern warfare 2 uh, but there are some interesting changes that came along with it. One screenshot from the gameplay showcased a soldier would look like to have a backpack on, which obviously players in the Call of Duty have backpacks, no big deal. But this looks very different. It didn't look very similar to the rest of the character's uh, set. So it could be either like some kind of attachment put onto the character. This could be tied to the Warzone 2 rumor that's going around for Modern Warfare 2, where maybe they might be bringing back that backpack system that we had from Blackout, where you had to upgrade your backpack to hold more items, which I think would kind of a fun addition to kind of add into the game, kind of bringing back that old school PUBG style uh, Battle Royale kind of elements. Other people have theorized that it's the return of one man army, which which I'm like, oh God, please no. I mean, this is Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 2 was the only game to feature one man army. And well, it basically broke the game. So there are some concerns coming around with this. But again, once we actually get some real information, which the rumored information that we'll be getting for Modern Warfare 2 should be early June, most likely at Summer Game Fest. But I'm sure when it comes to Call of Duty, most of you are concerned about the multiplayer, myself included. I'm actually really looking forward to this Call of Duty more than the other ones. And apparently there's gonna be some uh, reoccurring maps from the original Modern Warfare for two era so let's check out what they say right here this is from a uh, known insider and leaker tom henderson his stuff is pretty legit when it comes to his leaks and information so let's dive into some of the maps are going to be returning he says that high rise from modern Warfare 2 will be returning quarry is another one terminal as well as my favorite of all time afghan but tom henderson does state here that the old maps will be returning not only to the core title but also to warzone 2 itself adding them into the map as key parts of the map to get some good loot, which is super awesome. I love it when they did that back in Black Isles, so integrating some of these old school maps into the Battle Royale map itself. So I really like that idea. They also say a big element of Warzone 2 is gonna be the Strongholds. This isn't Strongholds from Halo. This is kind of different, kind of almost like a location, a key point of interest where you go to capture, to get things like to be able to get your loadouts and stuff like that, right? And just buying them by just like up opening boxes and getting cash from it, which I think is a much more interesting gameplay mechanic way to earn your upgrades rather than just like clicking on boxes to get your money and then get your loadout and then you have to don't let the loot anymore and also that looks like there will be a general public will be able to play a first-hand access of the beta alpha whatever title they want to call it fancy demo essentially in early august which this does line up with previous call of duty tiles where most of the times when the first time you get a chance to play the actual multiplayer of call of duty it's generally around august time frame the only one that kind of like broke out of the monotony of the august alpha if you want to call it uh was black ops cold war because well the pandemic and stuff like that pushed out to september if you guys are new to the channel missing content from me recently check out this place right here i got a link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out